Just a few months back, Kevin finalized his divorce from his second wife, Christine Baumgartner. And after that, rumors were flying around about Kevin dating Reese Witherspoon. However, those rumors were quickly shut down by Reese's representative saying, this story is completely fabricated and not true. The fuck? And now, the latest and hottest news is that Kevin Costner is dating the singer slash songwriter, Jewel. Just take a look at these photos. I mean, sitting in Costner's lap? Jewel probably enjoyed the rodeo. Well, our ride for today is all about these photos. How did these two meet each other and then decide to flirt like this? Is it true that they are dating? And if yes, are they really serious about each other? Or is it just another hookup? And of course, what could Costner's ex-wife Baumgartner say about this? Well, I know you're excited to uncover the answer to all of these questions. So keep watching everything we know about Kevin Costner and Jewel dating. Is Kevin Costner and Jewel dating? First of all, Kevin and Jewel didn't just randomly bump into each other. It was all set up pretty nicely when Richard Branson invited Jewel over to his private slice of paradise in the Caribbean for her charity last November. As the Daily Mail reported last December 2023, Richard is 100% responsible for Kevin and Jewel hooking up. For clarification, Branson has been pals with Jewel for ages, and Kevin has been in the Branson circle since the Cowboy Boots era of the 90s. So when Jewel and Costner met each other that day, they clicked, and according to the trusted source, they hit it off well and Jewel seems to be happy about it. Costner and Jewel are keeping it cool though, not putting any labels on it. Still, everyone's talking about it because, as the Daily Mail added, Jewel has a light in her that has not been there in quite some time. And adding fuel to the fire, the fans went crazy after some cozy photos of them cuddled up hit the internet. TMZ even got their hands on some photos where they're all snuggled up with Jewel speaking into a microphone. One eyewitness was like, there was definitely something going on. And from the sounds of it, it wasn't just the sea breeze bringing them together. They had this vibe, this energy, trying to keep it on the down low, sure, but it was pretty obvious to anyone with eyes. And get this, Jewel shared a snap from her tennis fundraiser on Necker Island. There's Kevin Costner standing tall among the crowd. Jewel even mentioned him and thanked him on Instagram for mentoring the kids at the event. However, another insider told In Touch that Ever since that trip, he's been spending most of his time with Jewel. He's really fallen for her. And it looks like Jewel is just as into it, having practically moved in to Kevin's lavish $5 million mansion in Carpinteria, California. Now, these two have more in common than you might think. Both have music in their souls, with Kevin leading the country rock band Kevin Costner and Modern West. And Jewel, well, she's been serenading us for years. Not to mention, Jewel's roots in rural Alaska make her a perfect match for Kevin's rugged cowboy vibe, especially considering his love for his 160-acre ranch in Aspen. And let's not forget that Jewel has a soft spot for those cowboy types, and Costner has a thing for blondes. And despite the roller coaster of Costner's past marriages, yeah, with an S, he's not shying away from the idea of walking down the aisle again. As the source puts it, Kevin just got out of a bad marriage and went through an ugly divorce but that hasn't turned him off to the idea of getting married again. He feels so good when he's around Jewel. He's happier and lighter, and he adores her son. And with Kevin stepping away from his intense role in Yellowstone, the timing for wedding bells couldn't be better. The source revealed, he's working on his epic two-part movie Horizon, an American saga due in theaters next year, but that won't eat up all his time. Then he continued, he's making as much time as he can for Jewel because she's been such a breath of fresh air. He doesn't want her to slip through his fingers. Now, where could this wedding take place? Based on the insider, it would be weird to have it at his Carpentaria home because that's where he lived with Christine. She even fought him for the house, adding, Kevin couldn't be more in love with Jewel, so a proposal could be coming soon. But there's hot pepping news lately saying, Jewel refuses to move to California. See, Jewel doesn't live in LA, and this distance is proving to be a challenge especially for Kevin, who wishes he could spend every moment with her. An insider shared with the National Enquirer, Kevin and Jewel are still dating, but she doesn't live in LA, so they're doing the long distance thing, which makes it tough, especially because Kevin wants to spend all his time with her. On Jewel's end, the insider revealed that she really likes Kevin, but she wants to take things slow and steady. He would love for her to move in with him, but she's not ready. Plus, her son is 12, and she's not uprooting the kid just because she's got a new boyfriend. And after hearing this, one fan said, good for her. Take your time, girl. Don't do anything you're not ready to. But 
The insider continued, and Kevin's taking it personally. Now, with all his success and wealth, Kevin is used to calling the shots. But with Jewel, it's a different story. As the insider puts it, he has a huge ego, and he wants her to come and be with him at his place. He has always been the one with the money and the power, so he gets to make the rules. Now with Jewel, she isn't impressed with his money or his stuff. The source said that this shift in power dynamics is proving to be a challenge for Kevin. He's having a hard time adjusting. To add a twist, Kevin's ex-wife, Christine Baumgartner, is reportedly finding some humor in his current predicament. She's moved on with Kevin's former friend, Josh Connor, leaving some to speculate about their relationship even before the ink dried on the divorce papers. Speaking of Baumgartner and Connor, RadarOnline.com reported that Kevin had strong suspicions that something was going on between Christine and Josh. Then a source told the news outlet, Us Weekly, their close bond was a real elephant in the room. As you can remember, in May 2023, Baumgartner filed for divorce, which led to a legal battle over custody and financial support. Costner seeking joint custody highlighted a prenuptial agreement, which became a key point of contention. The drama escalated when Baumgartner demanded $8,000 per month in child support, a figure Costner contested. The dispute led to a court hearing where emotions ran high as Baumgartner made her case and bringing up Costner's exit from Yellowstone as part of their separation story. In the end, the judge ruled in Costner's favor, significantly reducing the child support from the initially requested amount. Well, I can say that is fair enough. See, this is kind of funny to me because from the very beginning of their relationship, Kevin didn't want to have kids, but Baumgartner said it's the rule he must follow to be with her. She pushed Costner until he finally agreed. Now Costner is extremely wealthy, right? So Baumgartner lived an extravagant lifestyle. And during the legal battle, she wanted to divorce Kevin, but she's still married to the glamorous lifestyle she got while they were married. Do you smell the gold digging here? Anyways, on February 20th, 2024, a new legal document marked the conclusion of their marriage. This document, known as the Notice of Entry of Judgment, was filed confirming that as of February 16th, Kevin and Christine are legally single. In the days leading up to this filing, the couple reached a significant milestone by signing a marital settlement agreement. This agreement not only dissolved their marriage, but also excused them from taking the parent education and co-parenting effectively, or peace class. The agreement, detailed in documents obtained by ET, settles the custody arrangements for their three teenage children. It highlights a mutual understanding that, while they've resolved their issues now, the court could require them to take the peace class in the future if new custody disputes arise. And getting back to Costner and Jewel, what do you think the fans are saying about their current relationship? Fans' reaction to Costner and Jewel's relationship obstacle. There are those who are jumping to Kevin Costner's defense, totally against Jewel's decision to take everything slowly. Always someone talking about Kevin Costner like he is one monster. He just said he wants to be together. No one thought about his feelings. Go ahead, Mr. Costner. Bad for her. And on Reddit, reactions range from skepticism to advice, with one user asking, Why would he want to get married again so soon after his last mess of a marriage? Another chimed in with a bit of sarcasm. So he didn't learn from the first two wives? So he thinks number three is the charm? And another piece of sage advice, he needs to take things slow before he gets married again. Now, with all these rumors swirling, Kevin Costner himself stepped into the spotlight to clear the air. In an interview with the Daily Stardust on February 7, 2024, when asked about the rumored romance with Jewel, Costner shut it down with a simple and straightforward no. But there's a rumor saying that you're dating Jewel. Is there any truth to that? Oh. But always remember, where there's smoke, there's fire. And speaking of fire, the Netflix avatar The Last Airbender is probably on fire right now. If you're a fan, you probably watched it already, right? The cast is perfect. They look like they were pulled straight out of the animation series. But do you know how Netflix found such a great cast? Well, we've got an exclusive video for you. And you can click it right here.